Lloyd is a kind kid destined to become an S-rank hero. His mother was a monster and was deleted by a group of Dizians, a half-elf race, who were after a powerful gem that Lloyd was born with. He never met his father, who was an half-god, but he was taken in by a caring dwarf blacksmith who taught him forging. He worked hard to make a beautiful necklace for his best friend and long-time crush, call it. She was an orphan who had been adopted, but their world was in danger of crumbling. The only way to save it was for Kala to offer herself up as a sacrifice to the gods, becoming an angel that could restore the world. Kala agreed to her fate, wanting him to live in a safe place where he could be happy. In class, Lloyd can't concentrate as his thoughts are with Kala who isn't here. He is really anxious because she needs to be at the church to begin her mission to save the world, and he has to decide if he wants to join her. Suddenly, Lloyd felt a sharp pain in his hand and, at the same time, a brilliant light shone from the church. He, his buddy genius, and their teacher Rain quickly ran towards it to make sure Collet was safe. Collet sees Ramil, an angel, descending from the light. He explains to her that she needs to go to the Tower of Salvation to save the world. To do this, she must unlock three seals that bind the tower. All she has to do is pray at the right places and each seal will bring her closer to becoming an angel with divine powers. Ramil then casts a spell and puts a collar around her neck, allowing her to access the seals and unlock them. Ramil departed, and just seconds later, the window shattered, arrows flying in with the intention of ending her life. The priests bravely shield her, taking the hit and urging her to run and hide. The Dizians then burst into the church, overpowering the guards. As they start to close in, Lloyd and his group come to the rescue. He fearlessly charges at the Dizians, sliding on the ground to dodge their attacks until he grabs two swords from the ground. Suddenly, Kratos appears and helps them defeat their foe in no time. The last bad guy was about to attack Collet, but Lloyd stepped in and shielded her. His gem started to shine brightly and he felt an immense strength. In a split second, he used his newfound power to fling the enemy up into the sky and slice him. With Collet safe, the group returns home to plan their journey to save the world. Lloyd got a stern scolding from his adoptive dad, who had warned him to never use his gem. He was finally told the truth about his mother, something he had forgotten due to the shock of the trauma. He then met Collet and told her that he wanted to join her group as he wanted to both protect her and take revenge on the Dizians. The following day, Lloyd awoke to find that Collet had gone, leaving him and Genies with only a letter. She had written to explain that she didn't want him to get hurt, and that she wanted him to live a happy life, assuring him that they would always be together in her heart. Lloyd felt sad and downhearted until Genies arrived at his house, informing him that the Dizians were attacking the village and looking for him. Lloyd and Genies rushed to save the villagers from the Dizian forces who were burning everything to the ground and taking hostages. The Dizian leader, boasting about how great his race is compared to humans, challenged Lloyd to a duel. Despite his best efforts, Lloyd couldn't keep up with the Dizian's strength and skill and was sent flying into a wall. This made the gem Lloyd was carrying glow, giving him the motivation to fight back. Even with newfound strength, Lloyd still couldn't match the Dizian's power. The Dizian stopped playing around and used his powerful weapon attached to his arm to completely destroy Lloyd. A tremendous explosion happened, wiping out everything in the vicinity. Lloyd's thoughts started to break apart, sending him to a place where he could see a ghost. It was his mother's spirit, telling him to protect those he cared about. His mother's spirit began to glow and returned to the gem, forming a shield to protect him from the blast. The gem unleashed a magical beam, hitting the Dizian with an immense force, killing him. The following day, Lloyd visited his mom's grave, expressing his gratitude for her final act of protection, deciding to depart with genies and assist Collet. His dad arrived with a parting gift, two specially crafted swords, designed to keep those he loves safe. Lloyd and genies eventually managed to catch up with Collet's group in the desert at night. They explained to the trio about the Dizians who had attacked their village, and so they decided to join forces and help their best friend save the world. The group arrived at some ancient ruins, and Collet used her special collar to open the doors. As soon as they went inside, the doors shut, letting them know that they could only leave once Collet had unlocked the seal. The collar crystal lit up and released fiery flames that encircled the group and the altar, awakening a fearsome creature that they had to fight. I guess that's why she needed to pray. Kratos and Lloyd prepared to battle the beast. Genies was ready to help if needed, and Rain prepared a magical barrier to protect Collet. The two leapt over the fire attack and started slashing the creature from both sides. Suddenly, Lloyd's gem shone brightly, increasing his strength, but also making the beast focus on him. It then used its tail to knock him away. Collet started to pray, and, in a flash, the beast disappeared and the first seal was broken. Ramil showed up and gave Collet some power and wings, 
but she ended up fainting right away. So they decided to take a break at the next town's hotel and Lloyd practiced with Kratos while Collett got better. Collett regains her strength and they continue on their journey, taking a boat to their next destination. When they arrive, they come face to face with another monstrous creature. Kratos and Lloyd team up and use a double slash attack to defeat it, unlocking the next seal. But the Dizians come to stop her mission and want to kill her. She and Kratos head up to the rooftop so that Kalit can use her divine powers to put an end to their enemies. Kalit unleashes her amazing powers and begins to sing a beautiful song. Suddenly, feathers start to fall from the sky, and they touch the Dizians, draining their strength. Lloyd was worried and tried to stop her, because the angel had warned that Kalit's body wasn't strong enough to use the angelic powers. She stopped singing and looked at him. To his shock, her eyes were empty, as if she had gone blind. The Dizians regain their strength and come after the group, intending to kill them. Fortunately, a mysterious ninja named Sheena appears and guides them through a sewer system to safety. Lloyd inquires why she, a complete stranger, would help them. Sheena then reveals her true purpose, she is from a parallel world connected to this one, and her mission is to kill Colet to save her own world. She explains that when one of the worlds starts to thrive, the other one begins to crumble. If Kolid becomes an angel, she will be able to save this world, but at the same time it will destroy the other. Sheena lunged at Lloyd, waving a talisman that detonated and sent him flying into a pillar. Kratos jumped in, wielding his sword handle and kicked her away. She retaliated by conjuring up more talismans, but Kratos quickly responded with a lightning bolt from his hand, obliterating the paper. He then advanced on her, pushing her to the ground and pointing his sword at her neck. Lloyd, however, showed mercy and stopped Kratos from killing her, as she had saved them. Once they left the place, Rain used her magic powers to help Collet recover, and soon enough Collet was back to her old self. At night, the group was resting on a mountain when Lloyd woke up to discover Collet had disappeared. He was anxious and worried, but Kratos reassured him and told him where she was. He walked up to her and handed her a cup of her favorite tea. She started to sing a song for him, but he noticed that she wasn't tired or drinking the tea like she usually did. He asked her what was wrong. She then confessed something she had never told anyone before. Whenever they unlocked a seal, she would lose her senses and her humanity. After unlocking the first seal, she had stopped needing to eat or sleep. When the second seal was broken, she lost her senses and couldn't feel heat, cold, or pain. Lloyd couldn't comprehend why she had never shared this with him. She hadn't wanted to burden him and hadn't told anyone, but was willing to sacrifice everything to save the world. Tears streamed down Lloyd's face, he was sad that she had to endure so much pain. He embraced her and she thanked him for his tears, since she no longer had the ability to cry. The following day, they arrived at a village that had been assaulted by the Dizians. Sheena was there, having bravely attempted to defend the people, but she was totally worn out. They cared for her injuries and listened to her story. She told them the Dizians had a base where they were probably holding the kidnapped villagers, and so the group decided to take her along with them. Once they arrived at Asgard base, they were quickly captured, all because of Sheena's clumsiness. She had accidentally pressed a button. To show that she was more capable than that, Sheena used a special summoning technique to call forth her second guardian. The guardian fought off the Dizians, creating a path for the group to go and rescue the villagers. But when they entered, Lloyd got separated from the others, he slipped through a closing door, and had to continue his mission alone. Rain managed to save some of the villagers with her newfound skill in the computer and security system. She used her knowledge to sneak into the system and release the prisoners. Meanwhile, Lloyd discovers a laboratory where humans seem to be in long sleep inside pods. Kavar, another of the Dizian leaders, appears and explains what is happening. They are creating gems from people they have kidnapped. Lloyd's mother was one of the laboratory subjects who managed to escape with the most powerful gem. Lloyd was furious that Kavar had mentioned his mother after he had killed her. He lunged at him, but Kavar leapt onto the pond. He then told Lloyd that it wasn't him who had killed his mother, but rather Lloyd's father. Kavar explained that the gem had made his mother crazy. It had transformed her into a monster. His mother had been consumed by it, and in the end, was killed by the one she had loved the most. Lloyd couldn't accept what he was being told. It couldn't possibly be true. He started to swing his sword, trying to activate his gem powers. Kavar dodged and evaded, pushing Lloyd to the ground, shocking him with electricity. He was ready to end it and reclaim his gem, but Kratos came in, using powerful magic to stop him. With a look of hate in his eyes, Kratos lunged forward and stabbed Kavar in the chest, as if he was getting revenge. Lloyd tried to discard the gem, thinking it might turn his mom into a monster. 
Kratos, however, knew the gem had to stay with them if they were to protect Colet, so he grabbed it and they moved on to the next altar. Colet unlocked the last seal, receiving even more amazing powers. Before their final mission, she and Lloyd took a moment to rest, sitting atop a cliff. Lloyd was feeling rather down on himself, but Colet was right there with him. He asked her if she could sing, hoping it would clear his mind of all his depressing thoughts. But instead of replying, she just smiled sadly. It was then that he realized that she lost her voice and she wrote on his hand that she was sorry. His tears started to flow and he couldn't stop himself from hitting himself in sadness. He felt foolish for being so selfish, she is the one going through misery to save the world and he here he is, self-centered. She holds him tight to soothe his sorrow. He decides to go back to Kratos to get his gem back. He draws out his swords, determined to get stronger. He is determined to stay near her and protect her, and if she can't feel, he'll do it for her. If she can't talk, he'll talk for her. If she can't smile, he'll do it for her. The group decided to take a break before they set off to the Tower of Salvation. However, Colet and Kratos secretly left in the dead of night, not wanting anyone else to know. Lloyd wakes up feeling his gem activate and notices the two are gone. Desperate to catch them, the group starts running, but Rain stops him saying he shouldn't proceed. He informs him that the collet he would find would be a different one given she is destined to become an angel and her body will be possessed by the goddess Marvel. She asked Lloyd to pick to save Colet or the world, but he turns his back, he will keep moving, he will protect her. She has always been fighting alone and losing herself to save the world. Nobody is there to fight for her, to protect her, but he will. He will be by her side and be the one who holds her hand when she feels lost. A guy called Ewan arrives dressed up as a Dizian. He introduces himself as the leader of a group called the Renegades who are battling the Dizians. He wanted to prevent Colet from becoming an angel and invited them to come with him to the tower to stop the process. The group arrived at the tower, but they found Kratos standing in their way. Lloyd asks Kratos to save Colet, but he discloses his real self, an angel called Seraphim. He belongs to Cruxus, a group devoted to Martel, and their sole mission is to bring their god back to life. Ewan challenges Kratos while the others hurry inside to prevent Colet from becoming an angel. When they get to the very top of the tower, they spot Colet floating in the air. Lloyd carefully made his way towards her and was about to reach out when she spoke. She thanked him for all the times he had been by her side and said that was the only reason she wanted to save the world. Tears started to stream down her face and that was all the prompting Lloyd needed to race towards her, his hand outstretched, remembering all their shared memories. But she said goodbye, and her soul seemed to fade away. He shouted for Ramil to turn her back to normal, but the angel sadly informed him that Colet had already passed away. Lloyd's heart shattered, and he dropped his swords, not believing that he would never be able to bring her back. Ramil tried to get away with Collet, but genies and rain attacked to stop him. They encourage Lloyd to not give up, and his gem activates again. Hearing the words of his mother to protect the ones who mean the world to him, he looks at Collet, closes his eyes, and stands still, as if he was building his courage and determination to protect her. He picks up his swords, ready to challenge Ramil. It doesn't matter if it's an angel or a god, he will fight him and take Collet back. The world may end but he will keep her safe until his last breath. Ramil attacked him with magic, but he was able to resist. His body started to glow brightly and he unleashed a powerful energy attack from a single swing of his swords. The angel's holy shield was smashed, and he was sent flying. As the angel crashed into the ceiling, pieces of vines started to fall, threatening to hit Collet's lifeless body. In a split second, the hero heroically jumped in to save her, shielding her with his own body. He awoke later at the renegade's base to discover that he had killed the angel, but Collet was still not back to her old self. Sheena aids the group in escaping from Yuan, and she informs them that there is a way to restore Collet to his former self, but it can only be done in Sheena's world. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.